Maintaining a strong relationship with Christ prepares us for the relationship we will have with him in eternity. Jesus stressed that planning and being prepared would help people reach important goals. To the Greeks of Paul's day, races were very important. After all, this was the culture that had invented the Olympics. Beforehand, the runners spent much time in physical fitness training. A race in those days was in a straight line. The runner followed the line and raced toward the finish line. At the conclusion of the race, the herald proclaimed the winner, and the winner stepped forward to receive the prize, a palm branch, and perhaps money. The race was not just a game to the Greeks. Only one man could win. In Christ, however, many will win, and we hope to be in that crowd. And that brings us to our key verse for today, which reads, But we must hold on to the progress we have already made. Philippians chapter 3, verse 16. The resurrection is a reality that should govern our lifestyle after receiving Christ. Some Philippians thought they had reached the goal of Christian perfection. Therefore, Paul wants to let them know that he neither thinks of himself as having arrived, nor does he see himself as perfect, sinless, or holy. This does not imply that Paul was lacking in spiritual experience, that he was deficient morally, or still cleaving to his old nature. But it is another demonstration of his humility. He acknowledges that in all his life, God's grace is still working. It means also that the task is not yet complete. The race is not over yet. There is still a course to finish to reach the set goal. Paul is focused on the race ahead of him and avoiding any distraction from his past to impede his concentration on the prize. He does three things. One, he is not ruled by the past. A good athlete does not look back when running. Otherwise, he or she would lose speed and likely the race itself. Two, he reaches forth, meaning he stretches himself and strains every nerve and muscle. And three, he presses on toward the finish line. The focus of every athlete's eyes from start to finish is the goal. There are differences between earthly and heavenly races. In the earthly race, the prize is perishable. In the heavenly race, the prize is imperishable. In the earthly race, one, only one person wins the prize. In the heavenly race, everyone who believes in the appearing of Christ is a winner. On earth, the fastest wins in heaven. Whoever remains on the course in spite of the time one starts or ends, or the pace one runs, wins. The phrase, let us therefore demonstrates Paul placing himself on the same level with the Philippians as his kindred. Paul urges them to be thus minded, to set their minds on the same things he does. They are to imitate his example regarding the things that are behind and stretch forward to pursue the mark for the prize. He then commits them to divine revelation and instruction. He says, if anything you be Otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. So here's our lesson. God once told Abraham that he is his exceeding great reward. So it is with us. Jesus himself is the prize that we are seeking. We are running the race and Jesus stands smiling at us at the finish line. Just like a child seeking to win first place in order to please his father, we are running the race to bring joy to our Lord. What things does Paul tell us runners that we should do to win the race? Let all of us keep going in our faith to reach the prize that is Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to iLights. Heavenly Father, fill our hearts with what we truly desire, for who we truly seek is you.